Hey, good afternoon, evening, hey, good afternoon, evening. whatever, <laughs> morning, depending where you are. Ha, peoples, I see peoples. So back to these two. I'm going to be done real soon, especially with the, I have to be done real soon. I have two more streams to get the uh, Afridi done. Hi, Baldy! have two more streams to get the Afridi done before she's due, which means, and I'll probably try to, actually, I've got something else to work on tomorrow. I have, like, no games or anything tomorrow, so I'm going to be doing some painting up here. Um to get my entry for the Reaper Quarterly done, because that's due on the 20... I don't remember if it's the 22nd. But I believe it's the 21st, actually. I gotta get it done tomorrow. Um, and then I gotta get this, the, the Freedy done by the 22nd or 23rd, I think it's the 23rd. Uh, because that's when the Theravon cha Friends Challenge is due. And then the... The little guy, the elf, I'm going to finish today. And I have subscriber, I have the announcement. I'll announce in here how I'm going to do the giveaway. Because the way I wanted to do the giveaway is not going to be the way I can do the giveaway. So, it makes me kind of sad. Because I wanted to leave, basically leave it open a week and have people come by and put in. But I can't do it any more than 24 hours on Streamlabs. <coughs> There might have been a different bot or something that Reaper uses because I know they can do multi-day giveaways. But I'm not that big, so it's not that many of you. I'm just tempted to take everybody who subscribes and put them in, and just manually put them in and... Or, or roll a die, that would be fun. But you have to be subscribed two weeks from now. That's all. That, that's all there is to it. I don't want to make people have to be here if you can't be here. That would just suck. So, anyways, and hi, Smart Goblin. How are you? You're a little goblin. You need to post that goblin mini down. The one you just painted that's just caught on um, Facebook this morning. You should post that thing. is awesome. The little white mat. The little white markings on his face. All right. Well, I guess I got to... Speaking of subscribing... Also, if you subscribe, you get to pick the you get to pick on the next mini, which will be started t uh, quote unquote soon. Once I'm done with these two, I think then I'll start it. And it's I'll, I have an, I have a clean one. That I'm gonna I might do both of them at the same time. You know, taking the ideas I love from you guys and maybe maybe taking a spin. But this was the mini. This is one of the Bone Six minis. Uh, Reaper has been putting them in their kit, uh, uh, the, the convention kits. You did? Oh, shoot. I looked at them like, oh, that's really cool. Well, uh, it just popped up on Facebook now. So anyways, this is the next one that'll be, well, rather, it'll be the one that somebody abandoned. I'm repurposing an abandoned mini here. But basically, people have already been picking sections and, um... Once I get going, I'm going to have to get rolling on that. So, uh, who was that? So, I just subscribe. For the first of all, thank you for subscribing. You're up to eight months. Four more months, and then I'll have to paint that mini you gave me to do. So, here's what's taken. We have dark red boots, emerald green, non-metal metallic on the chain mail, which is the little bits in here. We have non-metal metallic bronze on the dark Oh, a dark brown bronze, basically, not the new shiny bronze on on this uh, hammer. Um, da -da -da. Shinura picked the axe of the shield. Oh, the axe on the shield. There's a little axe here. I have to make it silver because it is a is to kill werewolves. We've got a story going for this lady. Uh, Crimson, his second pick because he did a gifted sub for the emerald one. Uh, Dark Iron Dwarf Skin from World of Warcraft. So, World of Warcraft, there we go. We're going to go that direction. And the last but not least, Gareth wants a lava base. So, this is going to be like Black Rock Hold. Uh, the Black Rock Complex, where you actually have, like, stones, and there can be little lava bits flowing in between. 
Well, okay, yeah, but I mean, I scroll through and look at pictures, all right? That's how much I pay attention. That's what I got time for. All right, so I say, Ernest, what do you, what more? I know it's harder, but what more, what do you want to pick off this? There's plenty of, uh, spots. see, there's plenty of spots. There's, let's see, we got the boots. There's a more platy mail. There's this loincloth. There's, of course, the belts. And I'll include wherever this little symbol is with the loincloth. There's this, um, I know that's a kind of mail. That's scale mail, probably. Uh, it looks like she's got a tankard back there. There's her hair. So we got plate mail, scale mail, the tankard, her headband, hair, shield, the rest of the shield. I'm going to have it all picked before I even get to it. Plate mail. Let's do ruby plate mail. You guys, once again, you're going to up the... Uh... Let's see if I can have find a spot down here for you. Let's see. This is... Eventually, it's good. Eventually, I'm gonna end up getting too far behind, and I have to catch up before I, before. Uh... All right, Ruby Plate Mail. Well, that goblin is still awesome, and I don't remember him from two years ago. But then again, that was two years ago. So I mean, it's not really shocking. I can't even remember what I have for breakfast half the time. So. Okay, so I've got it written written down. Okay, so let's see. I think I'm going to start with the elf because I'm so close to finishing it. Uh, Crimson, is Crimson even here? He was the one requested this. So basically, I'm going to paint. It wants basically mossy rocks. So I'm going to take this, this stone trio from Reaper. I can't hold them all. What the hell's wrong with me? There we go. This, this is a trio triad you can get. By the way, I have to say a huge thank you. Anybody didn't see my thank you post the announcements. I think it's because of the conventions, probably more than anything. I go to the convention, send them my little link and say, hey, you know, if you want minis that are not expensive, order one of these kits. Well, when somebody spends $200, I think that helps me a lot in terms of how much revenue I'm helping them generate. But I mean, I'm sending it to it, so, you know, I'm helping them. And uh, I got a $200 gift certificate this week. So I have some exciting stuff I'm buying. Um, I'm going to buy the super washes. If people want, I can try them on here for fun. Um, I also want to get, I'm going to get the Elemental Scion set because, you know, it'll be a good match to do a whole set of these that go along with her. Um, so, and I love the Myriad uh, figure in that. I've been eyeing that for a long time. I'm going to get, those are the two big things I'm getting. And then I'm getting some paints I need. I'm running out of black. I'm running out of magenta. And uh, that ruddy leather. Did you? Hey, did you use my link? Actually, the link the link is right on the front page of this to get you to the Reaper store. Because it just says I sent you. That's all. And then I get, okay, I guess I'll get 200 bucks. I didn't expect that. Totally. I'm just totally shocked right now. But I'll use it. I'm also going to save some of that because the holiday season is coming. And if you're going to buy from Reaper, the holiday season, December is a great month to do it in because you get more free stuff than most times, than most other months. You get a free mini usually, which is great. Hmm. That's my brush looking a little... That's an clean. Yeah, did I not clean this so well? Yeah, I want to try them. Um, I guess I better put my order in today to make sure I get them. If I don't get them, then that's more money for other stuff. But all right, so first thing I'm gonna have to do is I gotta pull him off the base, and we have to work carefully. Now, as I said, it doesn't rub off real easy, but 
If you hold it enough, it'll rub off. Alright, so. I'm gonna have to actually dig up some moss. I have like I have some really have some stuff that makes good for moss. But we'll see. Maybe I won't even need it. I would love to actually cram some have some moss and growing in the cracks. Here and there. Don't mind the dog. I don't know if people can even hear it, but one of my neighbors across the river. So I have a small river that goes by my house. They have a dog that doesn't shut up. I've heard that thing. It doesn't keep us awake or anything. We're, we're far enough away and on the wrong side of the house for it to bother us. But I've heard that thing at like 2 o'clock in the morning. And yeah, in case anyone's figured out, yes, I stay up to like 2 o'clock in the morning. You guys certainly helped me paint a very spectacular mini. This is... I love this guy and I'm gonna... said I'm gonna hate giving him away. <laughs> so I really, really like this mini. I'm gonna have to get lots of pictures of him. So I can steal some of the ideas off this for my own. Alright, one thing I will say, and actually Ball GM who is in chat right now, he actually has a set of those. Now one thing you do have to be careful of is the fact that those paints, the uh... The army painter ones will reactivate, so painting over them can be a challenge. Hey, a night whisper! Wow, that's that's gonna be fun. A night whispers. Uh, his name on uh, my screen it changes from screen to screen unless you pick a color, but both of your colors are the same red. So I'm finishing up the giveaway mini because in two weeks, the next Saturday stream I do, I'm going to give them away. I kind of said I'm going to hate doing it because I love the mini so much. But I will paint another one once I get some of the work off my desk. I'm going to do it. Probably like I've been doing the mouse link off stream. So I was asked for a mossy base. Mossy rock base rather. Mossy rocks. Hmm. Yes, you can. You didn't know that? You go down to uh, where it says where you send a message and you click on your little icon where it says chat identity. If you mouse over it, where your little, like your little beer mug is, it'll say chat identity. And if you click on that, it can, it'll give you options and such. And one of the things is you have a global name color. If you, in case anyone has not noticed, my global color is purple, and I appear like that on every stream. Don't mind me. I mean, I've had this brush for over a year, and I've abused it. <laughs> Pretty good. So, it may be starting to show some wear, but it's taken me over a year to do it. And it's still good, I think. Okay, gotta let that dry, because I'm gonna add a green wash to this. I mean, it's mossy, so I'm gonna add 
This is the first weekend for a while, which I was busy at the time on Saturday. I probably should go mow the lawn. <laughs> Wait till tomorrow. Actually, tomorrow for a change, I've got nothing to do. Um, so I'm going to be probably working on my, my muscling competition entry for the Reaper Quarterly. That's my plan because I have to get it done and to email to Reaper John imminently. And it's not done yet. It's close. I, I do have to finish the little, basically he's got the rocket launchers on the shoulder. It's the Mousling Heavy if people want to look it up. Um, and I'm going to do, I got, basically I got to finish that and paint all the rockets and such. And after that, then it's just a matter of basing it. It's, it's almost done. It's really close to being done. So if I work on it tomorrow, I should be able to get it. Yes! Well, it's purple. Did you intend on purple? Because that's my color, of course. It's a blue-purple. I think it's the one purple. And don't forget, you guys, I do have a couple of emotes you, you, um, you lovely subscribers can use. Unfortunately, like, the place I can make all my emotes and stuff, it's at work. Because that's why I have the, you know... That's where I have the access, but I don't have access to enough time to do it because I've been stupid busy. I said blue. I was hoping for turquoise. Let me see. Uh, basically, it's at the bottom. No, there should be. Well, there is no turk. Oh, it says more colors. Oh, you'd have to actually uh, purchase Twitch Turbo to get the additional colors. Well, screw you. <laughs> and I just popped off my stream. Hi, Jotun! Good to see you. So you got blue. There is no real turquoise, the one the initial color list. There is a light blue, which might work. Yeah, that's okay. That's what it is. If you want more colors, you have to pay for them. And you have to pay Twitch and not me. Instead of Twitch and me. Hi, Jotun. So, I hope things are okay. How are you? I have to go scrub out this brush. I said, I don't think it's dead, but... I hope it's not dead. I don't want to have to buy a new brush right now. Although I can probably run to uh, Kevin's favorite gaming store. Alright, so... Hmm, if I'm... Oh, actually, I see a spot that needs touching up. They didn't get the gray completely in there. Right, damn it. I'm having a self. No, oh, that's so sad to make this cross country move. Where are you moving? Sorry, Georgia Blue. Hopefully, not associated with the baseball team. Oh, actually, looking at it, it might be associated with the baseball team. <laughs> Hi, Pete. Good morning. Actually, it should be, it's afternoon here. Uh, if anybody's like out further west in the U.S., it's about it's getting to be about noon, or it's still morning. You, good evening. I believe it is five. It's five fifty in your neck of the woods, Pete. Are you moving to South Carolina? I was. I like South Carolina. I used to. I would go to Myrtle Beach often enough with the family for vacations. You're in the north. No, you're not. But. Well, then, right now, it is, it's, well, it's still day. It's still uh, daytime, and, oh, wait, and the North Pole, at this point, probably has a night. And only stays light. Well, maybe, I don't know, maybe the pole itself. 
You think I remember my friggin' classes from way back. I'm being stupid. No, I think it's still it's still day. It's still day in the North Pole. It's Alaska has uh, the midnight sun, but they get night again, once again, and uh, they're further south enough. Oh my god, I said I sound like an idiot right now. And there's something in my eye. Ow! <laughs> All right, well, listen, there's some of you here. I will, let's see. So here, here's the official announcement of the giveaway for this guy. So in two weeks, unfortunately, I cannot. <sighs> so in two weeks, I'll be giving it away. Now, here's the thing. You'll have to be a subscriber in two weeks when I give it away to win him. I have a list I uh, that I can download. All right, so I'm going to start washing the vase. Um, what all I was going to say, actually, what I'm going to have you do, this is like a tough one, because I want to be people actually active on here. I got two subscribers that aren't, that like haven't shown up for months. I mean, I'm a little surprised they're subscribing, actually. But what I want to do, I don't know, if I leave it up for 24 hours, I'm checking it twice. I promise I can't make it a subscriber only giveaway, which really friggin' I was thought I could. I can give subscribers bonus tickets, but I can't, I can't, uh, because I want it to be a subscriber that wins. You guys are the ones that made this mini happen. You really did. So, I said, I would love to put it up. I'm trying to figure out what to do. All right, what I was thinking of doing is I'll do the giveaway next week and I'll just go and I'll tell you, I'll just, I'll just take all the subscribers on the list. That way people don't have to be here. Like many, you know, many mommies not a subscriber right now. But um, but if somebody can't make it, that would be unfortunate if they if they lose out. So I'm gonna take the subscribers, put them in a in a thing, and I'm gonna roll for it. That's how we're gonna determine who wins this. And I'll cover shipping, even where it hurts. which would be overseas. It's only about 20 bucks to ship a mini. It's like $10 more than it is here. Okay, so I washed it green because he wants like a moss type effect on this. And this is, of course, older wash, so it kind of tints everything. But that's why I did the, the first stage. I'm going to lighten it up. What the hell? So, all right, so that's how I'm going to handle it. Two weeks from now, I will announce the winner on stream, and I will try to make sure that they uh, that they get a... Um, that, that I'll make sure that they know they won, even if you're not here. And whoever wins it, they get it. There's a part of me that wants it to be somebody local because then maybe I can get it back if I wanted to bring it to ReaperCon. But uh, now nah, I'm going to paint my own and probably bring that to ReaperCon if it comes out good. Excuse me. Did Pete actually hit the hydrator button? I forget. <laughs> you did. All right. I don't remember if I redeemed it, but I'll have some more because actually I want some more. It's in a banning mood. He's always in a banning mood. Right now, I'm just letting that that wash dry, and um, I'm gonna grab the next color, which is stone gray. 
I don't know why Pete's doing stinky cheese, but... Today is also a double mini... Double... Oh God, how do I do it? A mini double feature. That's how I write it. Today is a mini double feature stream where we will be raiding... Since neither of my mods are around today... We will be raiding the Ball GM after this. I really should do this! Oh my god, I should do it. You know why? Because Smart Goblin has banned me from playing bards in his game. Ah, you did it wrong! Wait a minute. I, oh god, why the hell? Oh, it did that. Sorry, 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 sorry. I, and this is a joke. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, you're never really... You, even though you ban bards for me playing them, I would never unban you. See, that's how you really do it. That's how you really punk somebody. I can't use my own thingy? I use Reaper Paints all the time. Alright, Smart Goblin, I'll post on here to make sure I did it. I, I removed, it says I removed it, so. Go ahead, Smart Goblin, chat, because that was a goof. Why were you banning gold dogs? But, alright, to all seriousness, I feel kind of bad. Smart! Say hello. Say, uh, I ban bars. I have a 40, 50, mini oh my god. Do you want, I'll put this, actually, I'll say this in all seriousness. Do you need a place just to send them to store and would you like them back? <laughs> I don't know! What am I? Just to show I've got some power, right? I I don't have money for them, but I'll tell you what. If you need a place to store them, and then um, get then you get them back when you're moved in, I can actually I'll hold them for you if you want. I'd be happy to help. Because I can't. I don't think I could afford that many. To buy them off of, unless you need the money. I've got a lot of Reaper paints as it is. <laughs> Probably not all the same ones you do. But if you want me to hold on to them to store them, and you can have them back when you're done, because you're going to need them when to start back up. Otherwise, we'll talk. So I'm going to kind of just hit the tops of all these. I'm not exactly dry brushing here. I'm wet brushing. Because I want, I just want a relatively strong color because I'm going to hit them with a highlight. I don't want to get rid of some of the green in the top. I want the green to basically be in the sides. I'll say this, Mr. Mr. Smart Goblin. I miss playing games with you. I'm glad I get to do the special with you. Or no, I did not play a bard. I almost did. I almost did. I had to go to the other table, though. I need the money, but I'm not charging off for them. All I want is 50 bucks plus shipping. I'm keeping the pro curl. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to think about it. Right now, I don't have a lot of money. Right. 
So as you, as I've mentioned like five thousand times on this thing, Joe, and, Joe, my husband, and I are going to Disney for a second an a second anniversary, a second honeymoon. Did it again. Our twenty fifth wedding anniversary. So right now, a lot of my money is going to that. So I don't have a lot of disposable income at the moment. However, let me think about it. Um, give me a, when do I need an answer by? Because how much would shipping be too? Because I'm going to, I'm going to do as a maybe we've been working. You know what? Don't take the offer off the table and you're on my discord. I can find you. Um, because that's, I mean, obviously that's a steal. Oh shit. All right. I'll get back to you. I am make I both me and my hubby are working some overtime right now too, so I might be able to do it because that is sort of a steal. Um, for oh, wait, that's not the color. I must grab the wrong color. So you have it shipped out before too. All right, I'll let you know. I'll discuss it with him. So just right now, and yeah, I you know, normally I'd be interested, but right now it's just, everything I got is going towards the trip. The thing that sucks, airfare is now, I mean, thankfully I bought my airline tickets back when they were a little more reasonable. But, um, one of the things, uh, one of the things I like wanted to do, originally I wanted to do, I wanted to go to my nephew's wedding in Arizona, but that's not happening. So do you have a job waiting for you in, um, do you have a job, do you actually have a job waiting for you in the Carolinas? Because I remember you were job hunting. And I hope it's a good job if it, if, I would assume that's why you're moving. That gives it actually the right effect. Yay! Yay to us old timers! Alright, so now I'm gonna take a little weather stone. Alright, see you, Pete. Come back soon. And then you can ban all of us again. We are like, yeah, I'm I am an old timer now. Boy, do I know it. I feel it. I keep going. I want to be able to do this when I retire. I hope I just have eyes left and to do it. You're going on disability. Oh, my health is... That's... I'm so sorry. My health is to the point I can't work anymore. So I'm moving with my mom to help her out. That's... That's not a bad deal. And get on disability and Medicaid and get the surgeries I need to get myself alive. Keep myself alive. Oh, man, I am so sorry. Let me talk to my husband, seriously. Um, I will I will ping you on Discord and let you know if I can do it. I, I love Reaper paint. It's just a matter of, too, where am I going to store 50 more bottles of Reaper paint? Some of them, undoubtedly, you're, we're going to have some similar ones there, or the same ones, rather. And uh, I'll be able to put those away for now. Actually, if I do do it, I may wait on my... Oh, I don't want to wait too long on that Reaper order, though. Oh. Shoot. It's not that. I mean, you're also, it's a good deal. Well, what I'd have to check is I'd have to check to see if you have, do you remember what colors you have? <laughs> because if you have like pure black, uh, clear magenta,
And um, I don't remember what color this was. No, I'm gonna redo it then. Um, but if you have what the hell is there? Oh, ready leather. Those are the three. If you got those three, and I decided to do this. Then I'm gonna take them off my Reaper order, <laughs> and I'm just gonna order some new paints. Paints. Okay, back to highlighting. So I'm kind of using the side of my brush. And being very light handed to try to hit, only hit the parts that are going to be lightest. Oh God, I have that. I <laughs> I have I have drawn nipple pink. Go into ReaperCon. So was that? No, I bought it. I bought it. You can actually eventually order draw nipple pink. So I do actually have it. Maybe maybe what I do is I give a do a paint giveaway. Is that a thing? Okay, that's looked pretty good. Reaper paints are pretty good. Let's see, I read... Oh, you finally relented. You actually can't get the Twitch app on your phone. It doesn't... You can't get it for your desktop anymore. You're just going to stream it off their site. But I finally relented. got the Twitch app on my phone so I can keep watching, chatting while I go find lunch. Maybe start basing, finishing the trogs. Yeah, I mean, I have it on my phone, and um, I find it's very useful. I do have base... Oh, what did I do with my basing materials? Here they are. I have some basing materials here. Oh, you know what though? I don't think I have the right one. <laughs> I've got lots of static grass in this thing, which I do have stuff to base that way. Well, I'm looking for moss. I'll be right back. I'm only going across my room. You'll want, you're not even going to lose sight of me because I'm going to the closet of shame that's hiding underneath the flag. Because I need to get some moss. Uh, where is my moss? Maybe it's not in here. Oh wait, I think it is in here. It's in the green box. Let's see, it's either in here or it's in my bag. I got, I got a bunch of terrain in here. Oh, there's moss green. That's not the stiff. Maybe it is in my bag. Is that the Army Painter moss green stuff? But I don't... Well, maybe we can use it. I found something that was better for moss. What the hell? I'm only going to use it in little bits and bobs. Let's put this down. Oh, let me go close my closet. Ha <laughs> ha. I figured I might be going right back to it, but close that up. I said I have a closet. I think it's funny to say you have a closet of shame. So I've got, of course, Elmer's glue glue. That's what I use for my P 
PV, what is it, PVA glue? <laughs> Shake it down because it's, it's not running out quite yet, but it's getting, it's getting down there. See, I have no, actually I should do it this arm, it'd be therapy. <laughs> this is the arm, the left arm is the one I have trouble with. With my shoulder and such. Now it will dry clear, so any little spots I get in that I don't want, no big deal. It'll dry clear. I'll wipe it off too. I could paint it on, but I'm going to use actually my handle here to wipe it back. I think now is I'm trying to figure out where the crack is. I'll do a couple rocks. I'm going to put the moss kind of sporadically through this. Now this is something I haven't really done. <laughs> is putting on moss on some... Oh my god, it's a mini mommy! So... Well, one of our, uh, one of our mods is here. You only have heaps and heaps of possibilities. Why can't I get this cover off? It's the top. It's just the top. It's not the side. Oh my god, this is going to be hard to do. Using the handle of my paintbrush. The other thing that actually, you know what? I'm going to do it because it's a. I'm going to do it. I got to grab actually the ultimate. The best thing for doing this sort of thing. Where's my knife? Where's my other X Acto blade? <laughs> Shoot, I don't know where it is. I have two exact enough. That's not what although that'll work too. I was just gonna clean the crud off and I find the exact knives are good for that. So I'm gonna give them away in two weeks, mini mommy, but you gotta be a subscriber to win them. Ugh, that's kind of the deal. I'm trying to figure that out has been a friggin' headache. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to cram that stuff into the cracks. Give it a little texture. Maybe what I'll do is I'll actually put some glue out. And put it on my little pokey tool. That's what I mean. The pokey tool has got multiple purpose. It's actually like an all-purpose tool. Okay. Come on! Shake down! Alright, here we go. So I got a little on there. And we'll put some more right here. I hope this works. Now my intention is not necessarily to have it be on every single one. So I'm going to pick another little spot. I'm not a little bit away. I guess I got to keep this upside down. The crew of course keeps rolling back from the top. I, oh! Oh! This Baldi with the 100 bits for the Pokey Tool. Look, here's the. I've got the Pirate Pokey Tool chorus going because this is my home one. Oh, one thing in my order thing is a. Uh, one thing in my order thing is the Dragon Pokey Tool from the con. This is a nice little wider spot, actually. I think that would be good for it. This is certainly working well for this sort of thing. 
Now I'm going to smoosh it around. I'm going to see if I can grab any of the stuff that's in here. I'm going to do a little bit on the back. You ordered your, yeah. Do you have, now you can have all the pokey tools that they've got, which is, I don't think they did any more before they did the, they did the skull one. But uh, I don't think they did any others before the pirate one. I'm going to put one some here. And I'm going to put a little on the back. Yeah. My fingers are too big for this little tiny section. So I'm going to kind of, yep, I'm going to do that. Sprinkle it in there. And then use my tool to help direct it. Get it off his foot. Get it off the cloak. Come on, off the cloak. Just a little more. And then when I'm done with this, we're going to switch to... Oh, but actually, when I'm done with this... Actually, that was a crow, and that was for Clever Crow Studios. Who is associated with Reaper. But that's what the Raven one was. It was actually for him. And it's very... I don't know what you got to do to get it. I talked to him too. Pro Proctor's a... I like him. He's a, he's a cool dude. That's one thing I really missed by not going this year. Is just I miss seeing all the people. Which is to me, the number one reason to go to a con. To hang out with people and network and make friends, more importantly. So, oh yes, yeah. so your plan, Mr. Smart Goblin, is to go to ReaperCon next year. That, you're going to have the best time. I might go. I'm, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing this next year. Because it's either going to be Gen Con or ReaperCon. Depending on what the DJ wants to do. Let me see. I right, put the leftover mossy stuff in the box. And let's close it up. Um, and this goes back in this box. My desk is chaos. I remember when I got my desk in like a year ago and it was so neat and clean, and it's my birthday present to yourself. You absolutely. So, well, actually, I was 50 when I went. So, the Cover Crow Pokey Tool is one on Reaper Tuesday evening show. They won't ship them out of the U.S. though. I've won one before and got a gift card. It's, oh, oh, it's on. Oh, I know. Yeah, it's on the because Tuesday evenings the Cover Crow, uh, basically their like podcast type thing. It's Proctor and Jason Weeby and guests. So I know they've had Rhonda Benda on there a lot. Um, I know she's, I know I've seen her on there. I know they've had Ron Hawkins. They've, yeah, it's basically it's the two of them and a, like a random guest. 
I was tempted to actually... Problem is, it's shipping. If I could just give stuff away and didn't have to pay for shipping, I would give away more stuff. Like, I would actually go and order, like, an extra one of those pokey tools. And, not the not the raven one, but obviously the, the, the dragon one. I'd order another one with my, with the money I earned. And, uh, we'd give that away, but it's the friggin' $20 shipping if I ship it overseas. This is why they're not shipping international. Because it costs so much to do so. That's why, at some point, I want to talk to my international supporters. Because I want to make sure you guys still get, you know, my, my mini. I'm actually adding some of the green wash to these. Um, Because I want to give it a little bit, I want to make it fit in with the, with the color that's there. I'm amazed the glue dried pretty quick. Because actually doing that is kind of a bad idea. That section I'm going to leave. Okay. Um, I want to keep doing this stuff, but it's expensive to ship overseas, as I said. So I don't know if, if people like from overseas of mine checking in 10 bucks US to me just for shipping. Otherwise, you still get the mini. Basically, I'm still giving you, I'm still painting the mini for you. And getting it to you. That's actually one of the things I'm waiting for. Is, uh, but I won't do it now. It would be for the next cycle. It would be after June. If that's okay, that wouldn't, you know, most of, well, I think most of the people I'm shipping to are in the U.S. It just said, when I'm making 30 bucks and then I have to spend 20 on shipping, it kind of kills, kills, kills the money for my time. <laughs> But that can be discussed, and I've said, and honestly, I'll still eat the cost. I don't care. I just, I want to thank you guys, no matter what. And I really kind of enjoy painting for other people, so. What do you think? Okay, so what do you all think? He is done. He is done, 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 done. What do we think, guys? Is he, we're definitely, somebody's going to be a very lucky winner, for sure, I think. Oh, and I, when I off stream, I actually did went and add some highlights to that top of the cloak. So it is done. They give out one Poke tool per five subs gifted when it's guaranteed per show, though. That's cool. I don't want to give it away. <laughs> I have to. I. That's like, you know, part of the point. I don't want to, but I have to. And I will. Because you guys deserve it. You guys deserve it for what I, you know, what you had me do on this. And it's an incredible piece. And it's mostly, it's all, I mean, I executed, but you guys are the ones who came up with what to do. And wow, as a group project, holy shit, this is amazing. I'm blown away with your ideas um, and the birch bark. I mean, who knows, maybe I invented birch bark painting, but I don't think so. I'm thrilled with it. So two weeks, someone's going to win it. Someone, one of you subscribers is going to win it. You had a 1 in 16 chance, I think. All right, back to her. I wonder if I get, do I have any bubble wrap kicking around here? Maybe I could use a paper towel. So I saw this trick because I don't want to rub off any paint off her. And I gotta actually hold on to the mini now. And I saw this trick with, with Anne that she uses bubble wrap. I have some bubble wrap in my closet. Which means I can actually put away my basing stuff. Well, yeah, I can put away. I've got other basing stuff I have sitting out that I'll use for the stuff I have on my, that I have sitting here that needs to be, I got like three things I need to base that are my things. Also, oh, before I get to that, we are going to do show and tell. Because I, I can't wait. What else was I? Oh, bubble wrap. Small piece of bubble wrap. 
No, I just get big pieces of bubble wrap. I am one that needs bubble wrap. I don't need this big a piece. So I'm gonna take some scissors and cut it down. Ugh. I can't believe I finished it. So this said, this is so I don't muck up the mini that I painted. I said, Ann, Ann Forrester does this trick where she holds her mini with bubble wrap and it doesn't take off the paint. And, I mean, I don't want to take off any of the paint. I'm really freaking thrilled with this thing. All right, so bubble wrap in hand, but let's do show and tell first. I'll be all ready when we, to get started when we're done. Okay, so let's see. Last chance if you got any links or posting a, anything on the... Oh, excuse me. If you want to post anything on the uh, site, on Discord, that you're working on, this is your last chance, because I'm going there now. It's starting up. I know we're having a little break. Oh, that's someone paying me. Yeah, it's... Uh, that's right. Oh, never mind. I just read what Crimson said. He's going, yeah, he went to the mini sale at the Queen's Gambit, which I'm not going to go to. That feels like a very dangerous place. You know what? Actually, before I switch it over, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Terrain Talk because I don't want to forget this this time. I don't even remember if I shared that. All right. So, I'm going to share the stuff that's on this. Whoops, that's not the right thing. I need to go to Streamlabs. Put on the display. Woo, trippy! <laughs> go to Discord. So, Dandy Bagel made... I had a couple things. I don't remember if I ever shared this one either. So, I'm going to go back to it. So everything, let's see. This was a game is running. It's a chapel that's been upended by a creature from another dimension. And the second one, so this is the chapel that's been upended. And there's a lot of, in fact, I believe he's got the, the creature from the other dimension that upended it. He's got all sorts of like leafy things. I recognize the gate. The gate is from Reaper. I have that gate. <laughs> It's not painted. He built, I believe he said he built all the terrain that goes around the outside. That he built that himself. I love this window. That window okay, it really rocks. Um, and then this is the aqueduct. Oh, with the little bridge and the monster on the bridge. Very cool. So he built, said he would have built all this terrain himself. Dandy Bagel is, that's, I think, he is a very good painter, but I think his real interest is in terrain. And then he went, came back with this, and this is what I wanted to, sh to do. This was an experiment on a base, so he did a lava waterfall, which I think came out really, really, this came out really good. And it looks like lava. Friggin' cool. Let's see. There's a side view. God, you really get a nice glowy effect right there. With the contrast between the red and the, the yellow. Close up of the base. And the, oh, neat! So he's got like lava tracks in here. The rock, the rock has been cracking. It's really cool. That thing is awesome. All right, 3D printing. So we have some updates here from Cyrus. Let's see. Well, here's 
here's here's the all right so here he put this on i think after my stream last saturday or something because he's printing rings for a flamethrower not his flamethrower i was gonna say it'd be funny if you were recording the the huge egret you know duck what was it it's a duck thing you explain what it was it's it's for duck hunting so it's a duck blind. Holy crap, that is a big piece. But you put the two in together. You you sh killing ducks with um, flamethrowers, and then he is uh, he's also printing up a Lena Inverse, and he's doing a life size version of her. Although I kind of want that one, because <laughs> Lena Inverse is one of our, my favorite characters in Slayers. I, I'm sorry, in in anime actually. If anyone's watched the last couple episodes of Critical Role, I'm gonna say Imogene is is gonna solve problems like uh, like Lean Invert the Lean Inverse way, just blow everything up. You did? Oh my God, you didn't have to because I love Lean Inverse. She is she's so awesome. And then here's the Lena Inverse full size head. I can't wait to see this. I can't wait to see the whole version. Good, I haven't got back to work in progress. That'll be the next place I go. Right, here's here's the latest one. She looks great. She looks really good. I, the the 3D prints coming out fantastic. Can't wait. I said I can't wait to see her finished. Work in progress. Okay, work in progress. When was last weekend? What was last weekend's date? It was the 10th. I know I didn't show any of those. Alright, the last one I did was the mini arcanist. The this um more, i think it's mortigen i showed off that oh no no he had the crystals okay so mini mommy working on this druid going back and redoing it let's see do you have a further one yes you do i think this is where you might have a finished one on there i don't remember Wow, look at, she's got like a tartany thing in here. That's really cool. I love this with the pink. As usual, your colors are so spot on, Mini Mommy. It's the rock. The rock looks like a rock. I love the, you know, you get the texture on there real well. The non melmet Mini Mommy's a good painter. It looks like she's up to something. You do a little with the eyes, too. Friggin cool. Alright, so then we got from Rocket Koopa. It's a work in progress, huh, dude? <laughs> that looks done. Once again, I'm pretty sure more Malifaux minis. I figure out. So, actually, this is clearly, yeah, clearly, he, he likes, he actually is very good at using uh, contrast paints. So, I mean, he does them right. But not, it's, you know, it's splotchy where it has to be. It's dark where it has to be. This sort of thing is the perfect thing to use those paints on. Right there. As I said, I assume it's more Malifaux. He loves Mal- and you know what? I love Malfo. I don't have any Malfo minis. Okay, we did that. Actually, you've got a further along work in pro- Alright, so... Here we go. Oh, it's too small! <laughs> Let's see if I can get a- See if I can get a better picture. So, this was- This is by PT, and look- if you, He kit-bashed this. I- Love this. Mini Mommy commented too about the, uh, I love her face. 
she looks she looks like an absolute psychotic <laughs> like she's out there to kill and she's gonna love every moment I'm, you're gonna die and she's laughing at you as she kills you I love it I absolutely love it and of course purple she's amazing she's an it's a very interesting model he you said he kipashed her so she's different models I mean that's exciting Whoops, I, of course, I clicked the wrong thing, page. Hold on one sec. I got a problem. Okay, so that's way small. That's a, a cool thing. And then James McCoy, who's back. I, he does great work. Oh my god, this is too tiny, too. There's a good close-up of it. Uh, that's I see the X. So Chloe, that is I'm not sure which one this is. Carol, Carol's you know, some of my comics book stuff not so great, but I know the X. This is clearly one of the X Men. I should know what this is actually. Probably kick myself. Somebody will put it in chat and I don't know what it is, but or he's in the or he's actually on Discord. Let's see. Marvel Crisis Protocols, where it comes from. So those are coming out lovely. I like the I like the skin tones on her face here. He's got such an interesting way of applying paint too. And then let's see. Okay, so here's what I wanted to go get to. Gee, once again. I'll, I'll kind of zoom. Wow, that is very different than the way that started. Because you had the legs painted so dark. I love this model. Let me get the thing off her face. I love this model. It doesn't hurt that it. she's playing a flute and that is sort of a thing with me. But once again, the colors. And she's got purple hair. Almost has a my Night Elven Druid vibe because it's got the purple hair. And it's got the little moon, too, on her head. And you got the base under there, too, now. Base is... God, look at the, the colors in that. Can't wait till you get all the leaves. I can't wait till you finish her, Mini Mommy. It's This is awesome. too many things up and then okay so and then smart goblin is painting toilet mimics I'm so pleased <laughs> that you have toilet mimics but don't don't sit on don't sit on there <laughs> that uh, I'm just that uh, no thanks all right, and then uh, also, let's see, more work in progress. So Larry has been painting these guys forever. That's a good picture. Um, the tr the trogs. Although to me, trogs are like the ones in World of Warcraft. They're kind of like the rock-looking guys, but I like these. Those are gorgeous. Well done. Also, it's a beautiful shading, and since so why you know he took a while. Is the back. He's taken a very long, but I mean, it's worth it because they are absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous minis. All right, finally to the, oh, actually, let's see. I'm going to go to Theraval Friends, see what we got in here. Other than mine, I'm going to skip mine. Theraval, almost, let's see. I think, oh, it was 9, 8, the last... Nope, nine years before last stream. So we've been caught up, other than what I've painted on her. Come on, people! Keep posting your work in there! Don't have it just be me. So let's go back. Oh, yeah, Mini Mommy did finish that mini. And Rocket Koopa did finish that. Okay, so I did see that. Okay, so 
Here's the finished one of Tada. Oh yeah, like she's got like a almost like a peacock dress here. Those are like peacock feathers. She is cool beansies. So I'm gonna do one thing. I'm gonna go back to switch. I have like totally been laying up. You guys, still five more days. I know. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> four more days on the Reaper one. That's what it is. Five and four. Ah! I'm going to try it. Yeah, I know. I spent enough time. I'm not going to have a ton of time left on for her, for the uh, Freedy, but I'll get some of it done. Um, Here's the back. Yeah, that is definitely the peacock eyes. She did. You did an awesome job on her. She's She's awesome. Even put like a line for the stockings. <laughs> and then Rathmore, he's got some stuff. Baldrin, aka Balding Rogue. Baldrin? It'd be like, there you go. Uh, this is your spirit animal right there, Baldy. From Reaper Minis, Bones Fan 5 favorites. Quick with the joke, quick with the play, quick with the shave. <laughs> and here's the finished one. And once again, his. With me, his strength is his use of colors and his combination. I mean, I wish I could channel this. It looks friggin' awesome. And there's the back. I'm really gonna do better, otherwise I'm gonna be here forever. <laughs> One sec. I'm going to rearrange this again because I want to pull that over so I can see chat. That is, a, this is a really good mini. Thing every water reaper mini is a good mini. Okay, so here's the finished version. So first of all, I think you said mini mommy. You actually took a little, and this is going to sound egotistical as fuck, but you took a little inspiration off of the fact I did a, you know, the chat had me do a tartan on mine. And you added the tartan on her, and it came up, it came up very good. Uh, I I love it. But I mean, like everything, the color, the colors. You even made that pink pop a little more. I do feel like she's up to something. Nice terrain on the base. Just overall, good job. The little witch, the witch ball. That's what I think that's supposed to be on her staff. Very druidy. Oh, and she's got a little like squirrel on her shoulder, and you can see did a good job on that too. Yeah, the face is absolutely killer on this. Any mommy, you gotta go to ReaperCon some year and enter the MSP. Alright, I saw this and I know this is a new one. It's by Smart Goblin. And I love this mini. I I don't know if he's is smart if you're still here. Otherwise, I'll put the question in, in Discord. Is where did you get the model? Because I love this model. And you did it, you did it, that model justice. And this, you know, there's not a lot to it. There's not a lot of different colors, but a couple things I'm going to note. One, putting the pink petals on her head as well as the pink flower at the base was just, that's just, the right move because it, as I said, it keeps your eye moving around the piece and it gives a little bit shot of color to kind of break up all the green and I love it. And that, the fact is you, the green on there is great with um, the highlighting and such. So all the leaves stand out. Very, very good. Etsy. Oh, so it was a mate. Wow. Okay. That's really cool. So someone made this. But yeah, I love it's there's so few colors in this, but it's so effective. Adepticon would be a little closer for you. Oh and Nate says, and as of yet, I'm really sure for many. Probably because it's in one of the it's probably in Bones 5 and not released yet on the store. But uh one of the uh they had sets of um demons and devils and such in F Bones 5. I think this is from one of them. Obviously, this is a sexy sookie butt. 
Someone put, it looked like, I think what did they say? It looked like a frog. No, it's not a frog. It's not a frog. It looks like a little green slime or something on there. Nicely done. And then Rathmore just posted this. And I really, I love this. <laughs> I mean, such a great aesthetic. I love, I love the whole airship thing he's, he's, he's been working on. And basically the balloons are holding up these dwarves. Really cool. I love how warm it is too. Beautiful golds. Very nice. Just, I said, his colors are so spot on every single time. And I think he's got a little non-metal metallic going here, or true metal I'm, I'm not sure which. There's a gleam to it, but it may be painted on there. Okay, fine. I did say, yes, I said to post, because I thought that, well, I mean, it's also to share with everybody here, and a lot of people here are not necessarily on your Facebook. So, I love this. I love this little guy. I love the white mask you painted around him. He's got nice highlighting and stuff in him. And you're going to end. It's nice to see you bring him out to actually play in a game. But he's really cool looking. So. That, I think, is it. The first show and tell this week. So. Let me go back to Streamlabs. Oh, let me kill this display. Go back to her. I want to go to Adepticon some year too. I mean, that obviously is a great place to go to also network and hang out and meet other mini painters and such. Some of ReaperCon, I like ReaperCon because it is a mini painting con. And Adepticon, is, Adepticon has that element, but also the gaming part is a big part of the con. ReaperCon is really dedicated. There's some gaming. ReaperCon is really, really mini paint, painting centric. So, all right. So on her, all I really have left, I got to do her. Basically, she's got some teeth and bones and some claws down there. I got to do that and I got to do her hair. I think I'm going to start with the hair, which I'm going to base coat the whole thing, I think, red. I want to at least get this started. I'm on the fence on when I'm going to make it with her. I mean, I'm probably going to have to do, probably have to create the base offline. I got to pokey stick this. So I'm going to base coat the whole thing fire red. And let's see. Yeah, I'm going to do the whole thing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add colors on top. The reality is the stuff that's getting near her, this up here is going to end up being yellow. And it's going to go down to red. Unfortunately, she just doesn't sit on a base very well. Now, admittedly, this hair is something I've had planned out for a very long time. And other people have done it, that color. have done will do it. Wow, it looks friggin' bright orange on there, but it's not. It's red. My camera does have some interesting interpretations of colors. I think I got some more I don't belong. I 
I do also remember I have to actually highlight the skulls that are on the on the swords, but I'm going to start with this. Make sure I get all the spots. She's got a lot of hair. I can almost use a even bigger brush for this. This number one brush works all right, even for bigger areas. So as I said, as of right now, thinking about ReaperCon and such, as of right now, I immediately said it's either going to be ReaperCon or Gen Con. And it's going to be if I can save up the money from commissions and stuff. But if I don't go to ReaperCon this year, I'll go next year for sure. But... My best friend who I, who, who I'd be going to Gen Con with also said, I get the value of ReaperCon. You should go there. So maybe I will. Because to someone, to, to, I take, you know, because of the whole commission thing and such, I think the classes really help. I just want to keep getting to be a better and better painter for those of those out there who actually, you know, pay me to do it. I did find I said there were times I really missed being there this year. A lot of it was when I had friend, you know, had a uh, gel tip especially. He was constantly sending me pictures and things about people he was meeting and and of course the MSP open I missed that too I have plans. I do have some serious plans and stuff I want to paint up to enter next year. Or better yet, two years. I might have to put out some more paint. <laughs> this is a lot of paint. This is a lot of area. Well, I think you're sort of stuck going to Gen Con, so, you know, yeah, I think you're kind of stuck going to Gen Con at this point, considering your role there with Paizo Organized Play. With me, it's just, I, I don't have that kind of budget to do both. I mean, Gen Con's not bad if I freaking sell my soul to Paizo and run seven games, but... 
I mean, I did the eight. Whoa, I'm way off camera here. You guys need to yell at me when I'm off camera. There we go. Um, I did the eight games one year, and it was too much. And I think even seven games would be too much to get the hotel room. Five games is pretty good. I mean, I get the cost of a friggin' hotel room in Indy, so yeah, you should work for it. But I think for my mental health, I don't know if I can do that many games anymore. Hmm, there's a spot in there that looks like I need to fill it in, and it's going to be skin tone, of course. I didn't flip my mini totally. Hair is one of those things I do actually like to paint. Wait, wait, volunteer HQ. Is that what you're doing? Hi, Shinur. I got time. So I got about a half hour left. So yay. So Shinur, next week, not next week, sorry. Next week, I'm probably not going to be here because, you know what? Next week is still kind of in flux. I'm a little confused if um, I'm going to the store to just pick up a League of Votan mini. Or if I'm actually gonna, we're actually gonna sit there and paint it. If we're just picking it up, who knows? Maybe I could get back in time to stream. But because next week is such an uncertainty of what I'm doing, um, or we may all just get together and paint on our own. Because next week is so uncertain. I'm gonna in two weeks. I'm giving away, and I'll show it in a minute. Let me just finish this but we did finish the elf today the elven prince oh there is spots there that is going to be a trap i see spots that need to be done of our hair that's underneath and that is going to be fun because it is buried but we're going to give it away in two weeks i haven't figured out how exactly i think i might just take all the people that are coming up on the subscription list because i can download that and I'm going to enter them in. Or I'm going to roll a die for it. Actually, that's what I think I'm going to do. But you it said you have to be an active... You're going to be a subscriber. You're going to have a subscription at the time, so... And right now... Spot's been going pretty quickly on the... Uh, the new model which I will get started I will get started on that soon I've got to because I've got enough people who have I don't want to get too far behind 
So, a lot of spots already gone on that. So I got in here to get means I'm going to need a small brush because I don't want to hit I don't want to hit any of these other things that I've already painted It's kind of a tight fit. Okay. Got it done. It's okay after this if I don't hit all these spots, as long as they're base coated red. And sorry if I'm going off screen here, I'm trying to see. And the thing is, so I don't smush up my paint job that I already did. Oh, look at that. There's a lot more. No white. No gray. Oh, good. I'm popping bubbles. why it's nice to have a small brush to get into things like this. So I think I'm going to leave this thing as kind of like an armory sword. I thought about doing that as her hair, but I think I'm going to leave it. Because it doesn't look like hair. I almost like it just red, but I'm not gonna do it just red. Oh, hello. Hey, there's a. I know it doesn't say you new chatter, but you're not somebody who chats that often, so hello. Tetrashan. I hate it when having to do bits like that. Always just try fire some really dark color in there and hope. <laughs> exactly! Exactly! Oh my god. You know exactly. Yes. You just try to fire some color in there and you pray that it doesn't hit anything you've already painted. The inside crevices are pain. That's why sub-assemblies are a thing. But then when I do sub-assemblies, then when you put them together, you can knock paint off the mini. Oh, no. Oh, mini. Well, I'm glad you were able to join us, though. You, because I remember Mini Mommy had a family thing going on. And it was to get mom-in-law a phone. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, it'll be exciting for her. Getting a new phone is always so much fun. So greetings, Tetrashan. It is nice to see you again. Um, all right, so here's the exciting thing. So it's done. What do you think? What do you guys think? I already, I already asked chat when I finished it, but this is the dude. He'll be, and I'll be doing a giveaway in two weeks uh, to give him away. I I love him too, and I'm, it's going to hurt to give him away. <laughs> and then here's the back with that galaxy painted cloak and kind of the ice-vibed 
uh, arrows and things. You can come up with a real good story for this guy based on how we painted him. The Ombra. So I have here, so it's going to be different. I have here this guy that I, which is just like him. And I did him in a class, so I did the bottom part in a class. So the cloak is going to be different, but I'm thinking I'm going to do a similar thing. I'm going to do a tartan for the, on the thing like that's here. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do for the rest of the cloak. I've got the design in there, so it might be too busy if I do go nuts for the rest of it. It's, I'm going to just probably put another color in here. He's going to have a different color feel to him. But I think he's going to have the birch bark. The birch bark is going to... I, I said I did a freehanding class in ReaperCon so, uh, a year ago to do that. And I'm actually very happy with the results. My goal was to always finish him and maybe bring him back to ReaperCon. I, you know, my best minis are all going to be ReaperCon class minis that have part of it on there. And then the other one, the other class I took last year was I took uh, the potion bottle, how to paint potion bottle, and I painted the the little bottle here. Let me <laughs> let me turn that a little more, and I think that came out pretty good. So I want to paint the rest of him, or her. No, this is her. She's got boobs. So yes, it's her. There's a male and a female. By the way, I will say this. One of the cool things I saw that was entered in the ReaperCon was somebody took the pair of those. And they did, um, uh, oh my god. Spy versus Spy. Because the Spy versus Spy guys, if you've seen it, it's like, it was, um, I believe that's Sergio Aragonese who did all the artwork for Mad Magazine and Spy versus Spy appeared in there. I love that comic. Somebody made a whole diorama on Spy vs. Spy. Well, my gosh, Crimson actually did make it back. So, the first question I have for Crimson... I love Spy vs. Spy, too. So, the very question for Crimson is, how much did you spend at the Minion card uh, sale at, Queen's, at the Queen's Gambit? Nobody's actually hit this today, so this is the first. None. It was all a what? What do you mean it was all a bit? I think there was... Oh, a bit shit. Oh, I mean, it's... What do you want? It was, you knew it was going to be people's minis that they were going to... It wasn't like a sale for stuff like, you know, me selling off my commission stuff. Or not commission stuff, but my painted stuff. It was going to be old cards and old minis that people didn't want anymore. I think the big thing that is, if you... Alright, hang on. Here, let me get a drink of this. Cheers to a big Saturday. I'm surprised Fangard didn't actually have some good stuff in there, because I thought he was going to actually sell some of his good minis. I'd be just looking for stuff that I could re- You know, I probably should have gone. It probably wouldn't been, been a bad place to find stuff to repurpose. And one of the things I want to do on here is I want to repurpose, you know, like the for the, for the giveaways, I want to repurpose minis. Well, you're very picky on with the stuff you want, so. Someone had the graveyard set painted or unpainted? I would assume unpainted. See, now that would be something that'd be great to pick up. And if I didn't have it already, I'd be probably running down there to get it. All new. Oh, yeah, so what, would, what were they selling it for? I guess is the question. Two, oh, you know what, since you're here, I'll show you two. So it's, <coughs> oh, okay, so they didn't have a price. So it is finished. I did your mossy base today, where I basically took and painted the stones gray, 
and I washed it with a green wash. With uh, which green wash is it? It's um, BL10 green. And then I took a little moss and stuck it in the cracks, like some actual physical moss terrainy bits. So it's not in everything. It's just in a few spots here and there. And that's why I finished it. But he's done. And two weeks. I'm going to give him away to one of your subscribers. You have to be subscribed in two weeks, though. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the list, I think, and I'm going to roll a die on who's on the list. Because I can't do... I can't do a... Apparently, I cannot do a subscription-only um, giveaway uh, through Streamlabs. I was looking, and I thought you could, but I can't. I can do a follower only, but I want... I want to be the people who really supported this project and who support me on a monthly basis. So we're actually already getting the other one. The spots are starting to go um, on the other one. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spots gone already. And the hair is not as bright as it shows here, as it shows on this, the monitor on my which screen, uh, thing. I'm like finding spots that I needed to fit in. Oh, I'm gonna grab some of the brick red, which I think is what I started with. Oh, a deep red or brick red? Actually, it doesn't have a red brick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it because it's far inside and it should be really dark anyways. So, mm. actually, I don't think it is red brick. I think it is deep red. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's deep red. I should have let Bunny take the car to work today and stayed in bed rather than go to bed, but I didn't know. Well, I mean, you don't know what's gonna get you're gonna see there. Truth be told. I mean, you. I'm sorry, but you don't particularly have a very wide interest on minis. Either they are Warhammer or are Japanese. Well, most of the minis are fantasy. So. I mean, I probably told you that it probably wasn't to be. I bet you I'd find stuff there. Oh, if I can even get a brush in there. And you know what? Supple assembly ain't going to help here either because... Shit, this is going to be a problem. I wonder if I can get the longer one in here. Maybe. We thought eyes was tough. This is just as bad. It is connecting, so. I have a friend who managed to find a Reaper Tree of Despair at a con in the UK today. I was very jealous. I believe that you would be jealous. Yep. So remember what, uh, what's his name, Tetrashan? Tetrashan was saying uh, earlier about firing in there and praying. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm firing into this crack and praying that I get all the spots. Okay, I think. Nope, I can still see more spots. Damn it! <laughs> This is why you do recesses first, kids.
Now I'm like really doing... Can I not? Oh my god, what the... Oh, maybe I can go this way. This is awful! Reaper, I love you, but oh my god, who decided this? Who decided this on this bitty to make it almost impossible to get all the spots? I got one spot in there. I cannot... I mean, it's going to be mostly filled in. All right, I think I got most of it. I think I'm going to grab a little bit of... Ooh. I love, so Tetris Hit says, I love finding World War Hammer or minis by old school sculptures. By the old school sculptures. Like, what? Chaz, Ilio, and Tim Prow. Something magical about them. Uh, it's... Just finding old minis is fun. I agree. I love... I do. It's kind of neat to find them. Actually, when um, I did the uh, paint and take... At um, Rising Phoenix, he brought me a bunch of old minis, and I found some friggin' treasures in that. I found, I think my favorite thing, and my husband says he's gonna write up a scenario based on it, but my favorite one was the, uh, it was an Etten, so three heads, with Larry, Moe, and Curly. I saw a spot on her hair I missed, and I can't find it now. I know there's a spot in here. This really is totally blind. I still see unpainted bits in there. I am so annoyed right now. I still see unpainted bits in there. Maybe it can go that way. Ooh, I can. <clears throat> Ooh, I think I got it! So as I like to say, make sure you look at every angle on these things. Oh, look, I found a spot right there that's not done. I can get my brush in there. Come on, fill in. This is the other spot I saw. It was right here. going to sort of add a little bit of color into this. A little like highlighting. Night Whisper and I cannot figure out what the hell this is really supposed to be. So we're just painted up. I think he did it as armor too. Make it fit in. There we go. A 
Looks really great, so thank you if you mean this. Got a small dropper. I got it. I got it. I got it. I found an angle. Uh, get some really dark liquidy paint or inner wash. That's not a bad idea, though. No, I don't think I'm going to order some squats. I've got all the orcs to paint. <laughs> squats pre-orders went uh, live this weekend, Baldy. So they're not in the shops yet, but you can pre-order the box set for 200 US dollars. I don't know what that translates into your currency, but it's I know in the US it's 200 it may be different. That box set's amazing. It really, I mean, I would love them, but I have, you know, already like a ton of orc minis to paint. So, but what we're doing next weekend, hell, you could always come down and join us. Uh, but we're going to the Brookline uh, Games Workshop store to get one of those squats because they're going to have that's your giveaway mini. And I think you could paint them there. So I think we're going to, the plan is that we're going to get together and paint down there. Was tempted to get the Necro Gang, but I have boxes and boxes and boxes of minis. They're going to be on mini lockdown until I have more painted. The price is a little scary. Amen. That's, um,. That's a lot of it with me. I don't have 200 bucks right now to spend on uh, the box set for the squats. I love them. I think it's a great aesthetic, and that's why I buy them, because they'd be fun to paint. But I have a shelf of orcs sitting there. Um, October is also known as October. So one of the things I plan on doing from the Beast Nega set, I'm going to have to fill this in, I think. This guy was really hard to put together. But I think I'm going to do Mr. Hair Squig on stream next month. He's a, just an amazing model. I love the Hair Squig. It's going to be a purple Hair Squig, of course. I want to do purple shadowing, but they're going to be orcs, so they're going to be green skins. But this is what I plan on doing in, for part of October. And then I also want to do something Halloween-ish for October, towards the end of the month. Oh, for those of you who haven't seen... Yeah, $200 is a lot, but you get a lot in the box, including the codex. What time is it, by the way? Oh, wow, it's 223. <laughs> Still found a spot. I... So, Monday stream, we're going to do the hair on this thing. I can do, I have Monday and Wednesday to get her done, to have her done in time for the deadline. The deadline for the Theraval and Friends cha uh, 3 challenge is September 23rd, I believe. It is the first day of fall. He basically left it for the rest of summer when he did it. I just wish her hair was as bright here as it is on uh, what I see on Twitch. It's not that bright. The horns, I'm going to make, I'm going to do like a uh, obsidian. I'm going to do black, absolute black, with maybe a little highlighting on it. Maybe, maybe in the little cracks, maybe a little red, you know, or lava looking bits. Um, well, I'm close. I'm not far from being finished, so I should get it done. I'm hoping. I do have to make a base for her. That's the big thing. So let's see, ten, two ten man squads, prefer probably 50, 60 US dollars each. Two special characters, 30, 35 each, that sounds right. Codex is 50, so you're already above 200. The value is there, at least considering GW prices. It's true. It's absolutely true. I got paint on my thing. Um, I think the value is there. I think it's not a bad buy, but it is $200 US. So whether or not you can afford it, and right now I really can't. I love the big buggy that comes with it. And I think they have another one, they have another one that's bigger that comes with that you have to buy separately. I love the buggy though. I love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you know, take on that too. Still finding.
Right now I'm talking instead of looking and finding things that need to be filled in. That's what I'm doing. I am pretty happy with the way this mini's coming out. Um, but she, this is between this and Mini Mommy. Ah, oh, that's, I see a spot. Well, oh, I'm finding spots left and right that apparently I missed. It's not a small mini, so. Where the hell is that spot? Oh, I think it's right here. Look, that's much easier than reaching through. Yep, that's the spot. So what I'm going to do, the plan for this here is, I'm going to take and, um, I'm going to work yellow. I'm going to even go brighter red. This is just the base coat. And I'm going to work red and I'm going to work some brighter reds into this. And then I'm going to work oranges and yellows into this and go all the way up and being yellow being the top and then working its way down to, to red at the bottom. Just like fire. I mean, your hair looks kind of cool just as red, but I want, I want it to be fiery. And then I said, these are going to be black. I haven't determined if I'm going to do like maybe a bit of um, red in the cracks for lava. Red would probably just be red. Or something bright, maybe yellow. Haven't figured that out yet. And I will say this, it's a lot easier at times to find all the spots you miss after it dries than before because of the shine. Finding some spots here that need to be filled in. What the hell is that? That's her arm. Damn it, I see a spot in there that needs to be filled in. No! See? Whoops. Probably actually should not have done anything there because that's part of her armor. I do have her armor color up though. Oh, I just realized that is part of her armor. Huh, that's part of her sword. Oh, let me quickly add some color for this. I don't know why it didn't dawn on me till now. Oh shit, it is time. Sorry, part of my language. I'm gonna just quickly do this. It is now time. It is time for Baldi Stream, which is double mini. Uh, double, oh my god, mini double feature day, 
Which means that we go raid the ball GM. And he is on, so I'm just gonna quickly... I'm just quickly doing this. Because I don't want anything else left to do but her hair and the bone stuff. Just need a little variation on that. Okay. All right. All right, so just a quick little recap on what we get done or what I get done. He's not on the base now. So we have finished. I'm so happy. We have finished. The elf that's going to be for a giveaway, and I will give him away in two weeks because I don't think I'm going to be here next week. But keep stay tuned. If you're on my Discord, I'll make an announcement on um, whether or not I'm going to be there. It may be very last minute. Um, and then I painted her, base coated her hair, and filled in a bunch of spots that need to be filled in. Um, so I got, today was a rather productive day. I can't wait to do the and wait, I can't wait to do the giveaway. I can't wait to see who's the lucky winner of this elf because you are a lucky winner. Uh I'm gonna just put what I'm gonna do is because I understand this is a thing. Um I'm gonna put everybody who's a subscriber, so make sure you are subscribed in two weeks. I get a list. I can download a list of people who subscribe. And I'm gonna pick, make sure that I pick people too that have been active in this part. Well, no, any subscriber. Just one person I don't really see anymore, so I'm not, and they keep subscribing to me. I'm not sure why. Um, but that's kind of the deal. In two weeks, I'll put all the subscribers' names in a hat, <laughs> so to speak, and I'm gonna roll for it. So if you wanna win this mini, it's only five bucks. In fact, if you are a new subscriber, it is still September. You get 30% off. So, you know, it'll actually not be five bucks. I mean, is five bucks worth it to win this mini? You tell me. Um, so that's what's going to happen in two weeks from now. And then hopefully I'm going to finish her by Wednesday. Uh, I have two more streams on, on the, the, the Freedy to get her done. So hopefully she'll be done. Tetrison, thank you so much for uh, joining us. I hope to see you again. Um, I have a Discord if you want to hang out and chat with me in between times. Or you want to share your work for the uh, show and tell. So I'll throw that there in case you want to join us. I'd love to see what you're working on too. Um, I, I think it's a big inspiration to look at other people's work. So let's go rating. Oh, uh, of course, the times I'm on this upcoming week. I'm going to do this while I do the raid. You did not just friggin'. You gifted him a sub? Shinur, get back to me on what you want done on the mini. Unless you'll uh, touch Sam, make the pick, but it might be easier. You get to pick a, you get a pick on this. And in two weeks, Tetrisin, since you will be a subscriber, you actually do qualify for this. So make sure you're somewhere where I can find you. Join our Discord so I can find you. Because um, you don't come here very often. <laughs> Alright, let me start up the Raid the Ball GM here. Okay, so um, I will be back. Um... Monday night at 7.30, I'm sorry, at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, where it will be a double mini, a mini double feature night with Gareth, where we raid into him. Um, I have no game this week. Uh, that's, that's public. So that's it. Uh, and no, probably no stream next week. So I hope I see you at... Either of my streams, Tetrasham, make sure you find a way to get in touch with me in case you win it next in two weeks. Because you will be eligible. Alright, have a great weekend and happy painting. Shit, I cut myself off.
much, Carol. Hello. Well, I think I cut myself off the happy painting. Okay. New uh, night whisper. Hello. Welcome. Um, I was just exp explaining two things or telling two things. Uh, I have changed my mind a little bit. Yes, uh, uh, thank you for the follow night whisper. And wall of good discs. Welcome. Hello. Um, I was uh, going to paint my... Uh, planning on painting this little undead guy. But an hour ago I uh, I really got a little bit... Uh, yeah. You know, I don't think I will uh, be able to paint in full detail. So I uh, decided to uh, start building Nagash, the Supreme Lord of the Undead, this little mini. And just in case you don't know, this is its base, and this is the base for a normal mini. So he's. Uh, he's uh, big. And just before, when I started the stream, my. Um, um, my doorbell rang, and well, some people in the neighborhood have a party. A barbecue party, and they said, Hey, Roy is a little bit sick. <clears throat> <gasps> oh, nice! So, yeah, I will be eating a building together. New challenge. And talking with a full mom. So, sorry for that. Yeah. That's the nice thing around here. Care about each other, do things for each other. So, uh, we need to fix it. Otherwise, uh, if my little wasn't sick, I probably would have been streaming today because then I wouldn't get that barbecue. I wasn't invited. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, I don't think I can sit there the whole night. So thank you very much. Good. Well, uh, normally when you have the like reaper things that you have to uh, <laughs> and it and eating while streaming no. uh, I just at the start I already said hey a real pro stream the only thing I did wrong is I mean my camera angle is uh, immediately good I should have oh my god so I, can, I should show it on that camera so everything is fall, falling off right and, and, you know, Stuff. Fine. 